Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to all you out there pushing this word with all truth and sincerity, and to all you believers out there who believe in on the gospel. And it's the brother Kwara Abad from the GMS Houston camp. And uh wanna go into a fairly quick lesson, man. Um, you know, today is uh Monday, February 15th. And uh, I'm sure if you know brothers and sisters been looking on the news, uh, as you see, uh, pretty much the whole America, uh, uh, a greater portion of America is uh have uh cold weather, you know, iced out, man. You see, uh, but here in uh Texas, you see, here in Texas, um, it's not just cold, but you have uh, last time I read it, I checked it earlier, it says 2.7 million people without power. And well, look, man, my household, we are one of those people, man. You see, we are within that. We ain't have power right now. It's what, 7.40 p.m.? And we haven't had power since like 1 a.m., you know? But um, this is what, like I told my woman, man, this is what serving Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai, um, I don't want to say come in handy because serving Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai always is important, man. It's always a blessing, right? But now you see that the world is going to shits because look, as we serve the Lord, when the world, everybody go about their business happy, it don't seem sexy, <laughs> for lack of better words, you know, to serve the Lord. You know, you so-called taking L's, you know, and you, you going through affliction. Well, look, now when everybody go through affliction, this is the time where it shows the benefits, man, of serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You see? And just from today, you know, today's events, uh, you know, the Lord put it, you know, my spirit to, you know, go ahead and do this lesson real quick. And I might not even be able to post it today because I haven't had connection all day. You know, I haven't been able to talk to brothers, you know, or family, whatever, haven't had connection. So I might not even post this uh, today, you know, not be able to uh, get on YouTube, you know, haven't been able to watch videos, nothing. But the point I want to get, get at in this lesson is that this scripture came up in my mind all day to day, man. And I, you know, you know, explain the, you know, situation. It ain't nothing ma major, but it's just, um, uh, let me just read the scripture real quick. This is kind of manifested to them in my mind as I seen this, man. But this is Luke 21 and 19. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. He says, in your patience, possess ye your souls, man. Right? He says, in your patience, possess ye your souls. Now, when you go into Luke 21, Yahweh Shai explaining to the disciples the, the things that's going to come before, the things that's supposed to happen before it's coming. And everything he naming is not good. Wars, rumors of wars, famine, right? Earthquakes, people warring against each other, even us getting delivered up. But through all that, the Lord said, Luke 21 and 19, but in your patience, possess ye your souls, man. Now, when you go into this word patience, as Apostle Gabo always go into, that word patience means suffering. So in your suffering, when you're going through things, possess your soul. Now, what it means to, pos to possess something, man, you own it, you rule over it, right? It's an authority under you. So in other words, once you're going through hell, catching hell, don't bug out. Don't, you know, throw, throw the scriptures to the side, you know? When when shit happened, you throw the scriptures and judgment and, and discernment to the side. You feel me? And, and go back to that old man, old way of thinking. You throw out the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that's supposed to keep us stable. But if you possess your soul, you rule over. You tell your soul what to do. Right? You might have demons come and make you doubt. You correct them demons, man, within your own mind. Because you know and we know what it is. Right? But getting back to it. So, you know, today... um. We had, uh, and you know, my pops, you know, my pops, my mom, I would say they came out, you know, for the weekend or whatever, but just so happened, they were supposed to leave yesterday, but with the weather conditions, they had to stay. So, you know, um, we ain't had that much food in the crib, but I was cool. You know, man, my mom was cool because we know the lady, the lady, we good, right? But man, you know, we went out, uh, you know, it's the, the, the roads icy and I put up a prayer, you know, put up a prayer and I was comforted the whole time, comforted people driving five miles an hour, but I'm, my spirit was comforted, man. You know, so we went to Walmart. Now, Walmart was closed, but they had a line for a select group of people. And um, I guess, you know, they had let people in, but it came a time that they just shut it down. If you ain't in, you know, you ain't in the line, you can't come. So, you know, my pops let me out the truck. 
And I walking up and the cop said, he said, hey, brother, you coming home? You coming shopping? I said, yeah. He said, it's closed, man. I said, cool. And right then and there, I had started laughing because I said, the Lord about to do something. Hey, within my spirit, all, again, although we ain't have, you know, that much food in the house for all of us, you see, um, food in the house for all of us, because you know, like I said, it's my parents, me, my woman, and my two little daughters, right? And um, and again, I power out, so we ain't got no heat to put on, so we in this bitch cold, <laughs> cold. You know what I mean? But look, my spirit, the whole time, I'm good. I'm comforted. Because I know either way, the Lord going to do something to get us out of this, man. Right? But, um, so we, you know, we leave Walmart. I get in a car. I told my pop, he said, man, they ain't let nobody in. He was like, oh, so, <laughs> oh what we about to do? I said, pops, we good, man. Let's just go to H-E-B. Let's see what's going on at H-E-B. Right? So, uh, but even now, I started thinking, like, man, this you know, it ain't even that serious. And, you know, I'm not, you know, because, you know, but it ain't even that serious. So we drive to H-E-B and we get there. Ain't had no baskets, right? Everybody just going in there, flooded. You got to park at the gas station and then McDonald's to even walk there, man. But uh, as we walking up, they ain't had no baskets. And they had this uh, Ishikarite walking up. You know, here's a little buggy dude, you know, picking up the baskets, work for H-E-B. And um, so he coming up, you know, coming up. To uh, set him in a spot where you get the baskets from And everybody just ran to him grabbing baskets He didn't get time to do it He had one love He looked at me and I looked at him He gave it to me I was like man that's the Lord man <laughs> That's the Lord So we go in the store You know usually you walk in You see all the shelves full They had no fruit No fruit, no vegetables No nothing man No snacks, no nothing So we go to the meat section Because we figured well look We could get some charcoal Or we could just throw some meat on You know to preserve us a little bit At least we have something to eat on we go to the meat section, no meat. And uh, again, you know, with the laws, we ain't just about to, since they ain't got meat, damn, all they got is pork chops, let's get the pork chops. No, if they ain't got shit that's lawful, fuck it. That's my mindset, right? And my pops, you know, my pops don't know when, you know, how we get down, right? So we go to the meat section, man, brothers, you know, when I say they have no food, they had no food. But look, they had two packets of uh, chicken breast right there. <laughs> Come on, man. Two packs of chicken breast. I ate everybody. Again, it was so many people in there. Just taking stuff. Just grabbing stuff. Grabbing stuff. And again, man, they had two packs of chicken breast just sitting there. My pops walked up to it, just took it and put it. Boom. And my 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 first thought, man, look at the Lord, man. He working. Anybody could have took that. And look, it was the only one, the only, the, the only chicken pack is in that section. In that section. <laughs> It had nothing that was the only two and all them people going in there before us. But anyway, so we get a couple of things. We was able to get charcoal, you know, wood chips, on and so forth. Soon as we get up and at a checkout, soon as my pops got up and at a checkout, H-E-B gave an announcement that said, shoppers, we closing in five to ten minutes. Heard me, get what you got to get. I looked at my pops. I said, man, that's perfect timing, man. Look at the Lord, man. And I had to tell him, man, look, hey, that's your how about shit, how about who doing all this for us, man? At least we got something. At least we got something, man, to hold us over. But that's the thing. We walked out. Now, remember, we had just walked in when we came in. And I'm going to get to the scriptures, you know. I'm just, you know, building it up to tell you why this this is on my spirit to say this. Because, look, we have the knowledge and understanding of the Lord. That's why it says Isaiah 33 and 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. Once all hell break loose, you don't have 911 to call. You don't have your phone. Like today, we don't have no service. You can't just pick up a phone and call people for help. What's going to be your help in that day, man? Your hawabashimi hawashai. This knowledge that we know now, that's going to keep us stable. And when I came home, I had to tell my wife, I said, hey, you see the benefits of serving the Lord? We good regardless, man. But anyway, so going back, we walked out the store. Now, again, they said, look, five to ten minutes, we closing. That's it. We go out. The line was Again, they didn't even have a line when we walked up, but it had a line from the door all the way to the street. People waiting. Now, if it's closing in five or ten minutes and they telling one or two people to go at once, the people in the line, you're not about to get none because they go close them doors just like it happened at Walmart. Like I told you right before, you couldn't get in a line or you couldn't go in if you wasn't there before. Right. So I, I said, man, look, we came here at the right time. But anyway, you know, so we come back home, man, and um. You know, you got people uh, who out there, they may have generators, they may not, but they suffering and they bugging out. They don't have comfort, man. But us, we don't have to bug out because, again, we was warned ahead of time of what's to come. And this is slight shit. 
Like me and my bro Shamala, you know, my uh, my phone opened up for about a couple minutes. I had service and I was texting the bro, man. And we were saying the same thing. The brother said the same thing. He had to go back to the ancient mindset. <laughs> ancient mindset, man. Hey, even even earlier, I had to, when I had to, you know, cook a little bit, had to cut some wood up, some logs up, right? Put ball water. But we was out there. But the point is, the Lord made ways, man. Just like the Maccabees. When they was on the run, they went into the woods, but they knew exactly which leaves they could eat, what they could not eat, this and that, man. The Lord gonna make a way. How did he, like I told my woman, hey, even if we didn't find food, how Elijah got food? Ravens came and feed him, man. But this is the time I just, I just felt it's a time the Lord... You know, going through this in certain situations y'all may go through, the Lord put us in situations to allow us to practice for the time to come to practice applying our faith, man. Practice applying our faith. It's different when you go through shit than just saying it. When you're in that situation, who you going to look for for help? You see? You know, but let's get into it again. It says... Luke 21 and 19, in your patience, in your suffering, it says, possess ye your souls. Be cool. Be calm. Stable, man. Right? Be stable. And this one of the main reasons. And I ended after this. Like I said, I just want to put this, you know, put this out, man, of, you know, my day. And this is much more that happened, but, you know, I don't want to, you know, go into the whole thing. You feel me? But this is uh, real quick. First Peter 4. Hold on. First Peter... To like hold on here it is first peter 4 and 12 it says beloved think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange things happen unto you so the lord said look when you go through stuff don't think it's strange in other words when you're going through stuff possess yourself man rule over your spirit don't think it's strange don't bug out like the world gonna bug out because look it had people in the stores freaking out because there was no food Bro, there was, and that's, again, I forgot to mention it earlier. We seen people up in the, man, damn near running with the baskets, man. <laughs> you hear me? Running with the baskets, man. Face all bugged out because they ain't had no food. But we up in there, I'm cool, calm, and collected, man. Because whether we get food or not, we good because we serve the power of heavens and the earth who is doing all this, man. You know? Straight up. So it says, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange happen, though some strange things happen unto you. So when we go through stuff, we shouldn't bug out thinking strange, like why it is, why it's happening, this and that. You know, you tell the Lord, if you don't help me today, give me some food today. And no, man, <laughs> like they try to do in the book of Judah. If the Lord don't help us within 10 days, I believe it was 10, a certain amount of days, then we're going to go down and give ourselves over as slaves. Then Judah said, look, the Lord can help. Man, let's get that. Let's get that. Um, let's get that real quick. Let me see if I can find an eye in it. You know, I just wanted to touch on that, man. This hey, that, that Isaiah 33 and 6 throughout this day came into my mind that in your patience, possession, your souls came in my mind. Because right now the Lord making us ready because we're going to have to apply faith in Jacob's trouble. You just can't say I got faith then when it ain't no food, you're going to go to FEMA because you're hungry. No, you're going to be looking for the miracles. Like today, when the dude told me, look, you can't come in Walmart. I was looking for the next thing the Lord was going to do for us, man. When we went up and I ain't seen no food, okay, so what the Lord about to do to, to get us out of this situation? Like I said, in 1 Corinthians 10 and 13, man, Um, uh, we may have to get that too. I'll get that real quick before I get that. I ain't really got to get that, Judith. I believe it's in Judith 9, but y'all can go read it. I'll get this real quick. This is more convenient for the spirit, man, the spirit of the video. This is 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. It says, there have no temptation taken you. But such as is common to man, right? Today, what we going through, everybody here in South Texas or Texas itself going through it. Like my brother, he out there in Dallas. He ain't had no uh, um, power today. So us in this truth, we going to go through the same thing these people that's not in the truth going to go through. But it's the difference. It says, there have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But the Most High is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it, man. The Lord ain't going to give us nothing we can't handle. And whatever he, situation he put us in, it says what? 
and will with the temptation also make a way to escape. So in that same situation, he going to make a way. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm excited right now because this I was good to that. I, was, I ain't worried about food. Uh, of course, it's a thing you go get some food if you won't stock up. We understand that. But we was in a position where we barely had any for the people that's here. But I wasn't tripping, man. You see? Through the spirit. And again, it's not me. It's not me. It's the spirit. You know, the Lord going to put a spirit on us. Like Yahweh Shai said, the hour of temptation. He going to keep us from that hour of temptation, man. You know, so the Lord put it in my spirit to be calm, cool, and collected today. Whether whatever happened. But look, he made a way that we was able to escape, that we may be able to bear it, man. And right now, my people up and up, my wife, my daughter, they eating. They eating. I had to come up in here and do the lesson, man. You see? They eating, man. We got something to drink. We got food. You know what I mean? Got light. You see? Hey, and the beautiful part about all that was the whole day me and my pops was out and something the Lord, uh, you know, you know, uh, make a way for us. I tell him after, hey, that's the Lord. Yeah, I was just did that, man. Every time something happened when it felt like, damn, can't go here. Can't go there. Ain't got nothing here. And, and we actually, uh, a way was made for us. I let him know who made that way. And it's the beautiful part about it. When we got home. My mama, she was like, so what y'all got? You know, he explained to her, you know, everything we went through. But that, guess what he said? But man, the Lord got us. <laughs> he said, the Lord got us out of all that, man. He said, oh, yeah, we truly blessed. That's beautiful, man. You know, I said, Titus convinced the gang says, not saying my father, the gang said, because he know what I do. He don't have a problem with it, you know. But he was convinced after that. He seen it himself, man. You see? He seen it himself, kind of like, um... Uh, that people shall be willing to deal our power again. It's just slight shit that we went through. This the little uh, period, a dot, a little jot of tittle that we went through today, man. It wasn't nothing big, but how much more would the Lord work when it is something big that standard gonna be lifted, man? You see? Come on, man. You see? But I just want to go through that Lord willing. It was you know comforting, edifying. You know, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Chakwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. And peace and blessings to all you. I came out there pushing his word with all truth and sincerity. And with that, Shalom. Keep pushing, keep fighting. Shalom.